Hey guys, I'm Laura, and on today's episode of Critter Crafts, I'll be showing you how to make an animal themed kirigami stencil. The materials you'll need are lightweight square paper, protractor, stapler, bone folder or popsicle stick, pencil, detail scissors, and graphite paper, which is optional. First thing we'll need to do is fold the paper we'll be cutting. Fold it into a triangle, and you can use your bone folder to flatten that fold. Repeat this process one more time. Next, use your protractor to draw a line at 30 and 60 degrees from the folded corner of the triangle. Then fold along those lines and cut off the uneven points. When unfolded, it should look like this. Then fold it back and flatten it once more with your bone folder. Next, we want to get the design onto the folded paper. You can draw directly onto the paper or use graphite paper, which we'll show you right after this. An important thing to remember when creating a design, be sure all the elements of the design connect to each other. Once you're done with your design, take your stapler and staple all the empty spaces between your design. It keeps the paper from shifting while you cut, allowing the design to come out perfectly. Take your detail scissors and start cutting out the design. When finished cutting, carefully unfold the paper and now it's ready to be used as a stencil. Here's another design we made before the show, and we'll use the graphite paper to trace this design onto the folded paper. Take your design and align it with the graphite paper and your folded paper. Then take your pencil and start tracing the design. The graphite paper will transfer your tracing onto the folded piece. Cut out the design. Carefully unfold the paper and you have your very own stencil to use on whatever you'd like. We're going to use ours to make a custom t-shirt. Tape down the shirt on a piece of cardboard or anything that will keep it flat. You can use a spray adhesive to secure the stencil onto the shirt or studio tack like we are here. You can use an iron to flatten the design on the shirt and get rid of any bumps or creases. The flatter it is, the better the end result will be. Use any sponge to apply the paint onto the shirt. Make sure to dab the paint, don't smear it. Don't use too much paint, you can always apply more if need be. Once you're done applying the paint and it has fully dried, Take another thin paper, apply it on the design, and iron over it to set the paint. Make sure you don't iron directly on the paint as it could damage the iron. Carefully peel off the paper and you're all done. Don't miss an episode of Critter Crafts. Click the Facebook follow button now and we'll see you next time.